older learners, I am Ms. Lani and I am here to guide you in accomplishing the different learning tasks in your English 7 module intended for this week. And just like my previous videos that I uploaded before on the different guides, um, I will be using the English 7 eBot 4A Learner's Material, which was published by the Department of Education, Region 4A, Calabarzon. And the topic intended for this week is about reading styles. This lesson focuses on various reading styles that you may use in different reading contexts. These reading styles include skimming, scanning, intensive reading, and extensive reading. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify reading styles or different reading styles for specific purposes, use the appropriate reading styles in various tasks and activities, and demonstrate understanding on the importance of reading styles. So let's begin with your learning task number one. For your learning task number one, you will be answering six questions. Number one, what are coronaviruses? Number two, what is COVID-19? Number three, how can COVID-19 be prevented? Number four, what are the symptoms that one may experience after catching COVID-19? Number five, how is COVID-19 transmitted? Number six, how many days can COVID-19 incubate? So you're going to answer these questions based on the given infographic. Ito yung infographics natin. Again, malalaman ninyo or makukuha ninyo yung mga sagot sa mga tanong na to base dito sa given infographic. So for example, what are COVID or what are coronaviruses? Okay, so by simply looking and scanning on this infographics, makita nyo kung nasaan yung kasagutan. So for example, we have here coronaviruses are viruses that circulate among animals but some of them are also known to affect humans. So therefore, this particular text can be or could be the possible answer in question number one. Okay, so uh, for you to be able to answer the other questions, Simply uh, study and um, scan and read the given infographics. So, for your learning task number two, the instruction is in your notebook, write the letters of the correct answers. So, madali lang, you just uh, simply uh, read the statement. So, we have here seven uh, item multiple choice type of test. So, simply read the statement or the questions and then identify the letters that corresponds to correct answers. So, pwedeng letters only lang yung inyong gawin dito. Since nakalagay dyan, write the letters of the correct answer. For your learning task number 3, the instruction is to copy the word read in your notebook. Again, copy the word read in your notebook or booklet. Then, locate the given words below. Words may be hidden in any direction. Alright. So, you need to copy this word grid in your notebook or booklet, alright? And then, these are the hidden words na kailangan ninyong malocate. So, we have your skimming, intensive, scanning, extensive, reading, and gist, okay? So, it depends upon you paano niyo ilolocate yung uh, hidden words na yan. So, sabi dyan, words may be hidden in any direction. It can either be vertical, diagonal, uh, horizontal, any direction. So, it depends upon you. Paano nyo mapapakita na nalocate ninyo yung words na yun? So, pwede ninyo na uh, put a line on the words. For example, you have your scanning. Or, you can draw a loop. For as long as you will be able to find these uh, hidden words. So, since we are talking on the reading styles, there are four types of reading styles, namely skimming, scanning, intensive reading, and extensive reading. Now, itong four types of reading styles na to is used depending on the situation and the purpose of the reader. Okay? So, mayroong reading style that is applicable if you are just locating a specific information quickly in a specific text. Meron naman na it requires a close reading for you to be able to identify the specific uh, information that you want. And then, there is a reading style na magkakaroon ka ng pleasure upon reading the text. Okay? So, let's begin with skimming. Skimming is used to quickly gather the most important information or gist. 
it is done by running your eyes over the text, noting the most important information. Understanding the, uh, each word is not really important in this technique. Example, reading a journal to identify which detail would you like to read, getting main idea of a text, and reading a text to get the general information. Number two, scanning. This is used to find a particular details of information. It is done by running your eyes over a text while looking for specific information. It is okay not to understand some phrases or words encountering the text. Example, looking for specific details in your contact list. Internet search. Checking your daily schedule. Okay, so ano yung pagkakaparehas ng streaming and scanning? So both of these reading styles is just you are going to read by running your eyes over the text. Kaya lang, pag sinabi natin skimming, you are noting this uh, most important information. Pag sinabi naman natin scanning, you are looking for a particular and specific information. Okay? Next, extensive reading. This is used in shorter text to get important details. It involves close reading for specific information. Understanding each words is necessary. Now, uh, unlike ng skimming and scanning, ang intensive reading, more serious. Kasi ang skimming and scanning, mabilisan lang siya. Kumbaga, parang pinapahapiwan nyo lang each sentences ng mga paragraph or text na binabasa nyo. Usually, first sentence lang ng paragraph yung binabasa nyo. But then dito, sa intensive reading, close reading siya. Na kailangan, kahit short text yung binabasa nyo, naiintindihan yung binabasa nyo. So, you should understand the words and phrases kasi it's necessary for you to be able to identify the specific information that you are looking for. Kaya nga siya intensive. Next, extensive reading. This is used to gather general knowledge. It generally uses reading longer texts for entertainment purposes. This helps a reader in enhancing fluency and speed in reading. So, pag extensive reading naman, kung ang intensive ay short text, ang extensive naman longer text. We're in uh, kahit longer text siya, yung reader magkakaroon ng pressure upon reading the text. So, for example, di ba, um, when we are reading Wattpad series, di ba, kahit gaan siya kahaba, gusto uh, nag, nag aim ka pa rin na tapusin yung series na yun. Kasi habang binabasa mo siya, you are, uh, you feel, you feel the, the pleasure. Kaya nga yung extensive reading, kumbaga ang purpose nyan is exposure and pleasure. Exposure kasi, uh, dahil mahaba yung binabasa mga text, nagkakaroon ng, ng enhancement yung, yung speed mo sa pagbabasa as well as your fluency. Pleasure naman, yun nga yung sinabi ko kanina na kahit gaan kahaba yung text na binabasa mo, upon reading the text, you feel the pleasure. Parang nagiging masaya ka. Okay? Nararamdaman mo yung, yung um, gustong iparamdam ng author dun sa uh, series or story na binabasa mo. So, um, for the Full instruction uh, of these uh, four types of reading styles, kindly simply visit my YouTube channel and click for the reading styles that I already uploaded on my channel. Okay, so for learning task number four, scheme and scan the infographic, then complete the paragraph that follows. Write your answers in your notebook or booklet. Alright, so, ito yung paragraph. You're going to copy this paragraph in your notebook or booklet wherein you're going to complete this by simply skimming and scanning on this infographic. Okay? So, para makompleto ninyo yung paragraph na to, kailangan mas skim and scan ninyo yung infographic na ito. For example, we have here, air pollution is a major environmental risk to blank. Now, skim and scan ninyo itong infographic na to. Nakita nyo ba kung saan part natin makukuha yung sagot? Okay? So, di ba? Ito siya. Now, ano ba yung possible answer? So, we have here, air pollution is a major environmental risk to air pollution is a major environmental risk to So, what's the answer? The answer is health. So, therefore, ang sagot niya sa number 1 is health. So, kailangan um, uh, again, yung instruction, in and scan the infographic para makompleto niyo yung paragraph. For learning task number 5, using the infographic in learning task 4, answer the following questions in your notebook. Number 1, what is air pollution? Number 2, what can be reduced if air pollution is managed and controlled? Number 3, in a world, how many people die every year due to air pollution? 
Number four, which region has the most number of deaths? How about the lowest? Number five, what solution can be proposed to address the problem? So, katulad ng learning task number four, makikita nyo naman yung sagot dito sa so, questions na to, same din sa infographic na ginamit nyo sa learning task number four. So, ito siya. Okay? So, you're going to answer these five questions based on the infographic that uh, is being used in learning task number four. For your learning task number six, using the job advertisement, uh, answer the questions to found or that can be found on the next page of your module. Write your answers in your notebook. So this is our job advertisement. So on the next page of your module, there are uh, five questions there. Number one, which company job? Which company offers job opportunities? Number two, what positions are they looking for? Number three, what are skills needed in each position? Number four, what will the applicants do in the company in case they would be hired? Number five, how can interested applicants contact the company? Okay, so ang gagamit niyo para masagot niyo itong mga questions nito is this job advertisement. For example, what positions are they looking for? Diba? So, kita niyo agad kung ano yung sagot. We have developer and program assistants. So, we are down in the last two learning tasks for this week, learning task number seven. Find a Philippine news article about COVID-19. Copy and or paste it in your notebook, then write three to five sentences. Summary about the news article read. So, for learning task number seven, ahalap kayo ng news article or balita, okay? Tungkol sa COVID-19, pero it should be in the Philippine setting. Hindi pwedeng COVID-19 sa ibang bansa. So, find a news article, balita about COVID-19 in the Philippines. So, pwede kayo makakita na uh, news article online. Okay? Pag online ang ginamit ninyo, pukopihin ninyo yung news article na binasa ninyo. Pag naman yung jarya talaga, so pwede i-cut ninyo yung specific article na merong COVID-19 article tapos ipipaste ninyo sa inyong notebook or booklet. And then, kailangan siyempre basahin niyo yung news article na lang because you're going to construct 3 to 5 sentences as a summary of the news article that you read. Okay? For your learning task number 8, look for any kind of form. Example, enrollment form, deposit, or withdrawal slip, available in your locality or at home. Paste it in your notebook. Using your chosen form, specify what specific details it asks from its client. Okay, so maghahanap kayo sa bahay ninyo or maghahanap kayo sa parent ninyo or sa guardian ninyo kung anong mga form ang meron sa bahay. For example, yung mga, ako nga, yung four-piece, diba? Sa four-piece, diba, meron mga um, specific details na tinatanong doon. So, pwede yung four-piece ipa-photocopy ninyo, tapos i-paste ninyo sa inyong notebook or booklet. And then, uh, you're going to specify ano ba yung mga specific details na ina-ask from its clients. Ano ba yung mga specific details na ina-ask para dun sa recipient ng 4 piece na nun. Halimbawa, yung address, diba? o kaya naman yung school, o kaya naman yung name ng, um, ng uh, head teacher or principal kung saan nag-aaral yung bata. So, that's it. So, these are the different learning tasks intended for this week. So, this wrap up my video tutorial on how you're going to accomplish the different learning tasks given for your English 7 for this week wherein the topic is about reading styles, namely skimming, scanning, extensive and intensive reading. So, I hope that this video will help you to accomplish and finish your uh, learning task. So, good luck in answering and God bless. See you again. Bye!